All right, so we beat the first boss. And we got a bunch of resources, so now we can build some stuff, I guess. Unlock a new class, Rogue. A gloomy but necessary part of every village. Passage through the cemetery and expeditions grant you memory fragment. Can resurrect the hero after an upgrade. Supply Depot. Um, unlocks a supply feature. From now on, you will begin to find useful artifacts for your people. Unlocks ability to craft items if you have necessary uh, buildings. Unlocks a ruins card. There, this game is so cool! My god! I think I want the smithy first, though. Now, I noticed that there's like, there's an orange circle there, and an orange one there, and a... I don't know what those mean yet. <laughs> By the anvil of the seven! It's as a small forge! Yo ho 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 ho! And have you no idea how I've missed the hot heart heat of a furnace and the smell of metal? He's got a sick beard, I like it. Well, have some good tools now. You can be sure of that, lad. You'll even be able to use something during these trips of yours. You're quite enthusiastic. Something tells me you're not a stranger to seamen. Ship. Shiver me timbers. Shiver me hammers. How did you know? It doesn't matter, though. You're right. Don't worry. I'll prove to you that these hands can hold a helm in a storm for a dozen days in a row if needed. Well, let's see if we can build something else now. We can. Hmm. A farm. Farmers' crops are always a welcome side on the dinner table. All empty tiles around the farm are transformed into gardens. After an expedition, it gives you uh, one ration for every completed loop, but not more than uh, there are garden tiles around the farm. You can build something over the garden. Uh, additional unlocks the ability to craft food if the supply depot is built. Unlocks the wheat field card. Hmm. Refuge is a new class. Ooh. Schmelter unlocks the Storm Temple card and unlocks the Arsenal Golden card if the Intel Center is built plus 30 to base HP. Ooh. Oh man, I want all the things. I want to try the new class though, so let's do the new class. I shall build it here. There is, there is exile even in exile here. What? There is exile even in exile, hero. Don't be hard on those lost souls who have found their salvation in wine and gambling. Sit down instead and pick yourself a poison to drink. There is exile in exile. Hmm. Okay, then. That's not why I'm here. It's so strange, this place is and its surroundings. Uh, they are familiar to me. Now we're talking. So did you make a living off the road? A bit of robbery? Or collecting bounties for some unlucky hero? Head? Is this someone else new and did all of this? And now I have their knowledge and skills and... Up my sleeve. And I think I stole someone's purse, too. Ha! Wait, that's my coin purse. You don't believe me? Oh, well. Feel free to come... Buy if you want to discuss your new trade and become the, uh, this good with knives by working with the kitchen, you know. Well, okay, can I build anything else? I can build the farm too. Hmm. Well, there you go. Have you noticed how strangely this oblivion affects our senses? Uh, hunger, for example. You can stop eating for days and still uh, won't get be hungry. This, of course, does not mean that you should stop eating altogether. The farmer promises that he'll be able to grow some stable crops, but it'll, it'll take some time. I'll, it'll be interesting to see what can grow without sunlight. Can you move buildings? Oh, you can dismantle, though. 
I don't want to build next to that anymore. Okay, I can't build anything else, but we got quite a few buildings built, which is nice. Well, now we got a new class. Let's see what the new class does, I guess. A rogue. A class rogue. Can receive trophies after killing enemies in battle, exchange them for equipment in the camp. Has 5% vampirism from the start. 10% bonus from any effects equipped uh, with the same effect. Any effects for every item equipped with the same effect. Additional class stats. Damage, damage to all, evade percent, crit chance, attack speed, counterattack, defense, crit gear. Starts with warrior gear. Hmm. Very nice. Wheat field. Haystacks look like cozy places to rest, but you have to move on. Can we place next to a village? Five times loot XP to healing adjacent village spawns a scarecrow every four days. Ooh. Wheat field seems cool. Um. Village, cemetery, battlefield. I wonder if anything interacts with the battlefield. I'll do the spider. Yeah, I guess we'll try evade build. Do you think that'll be fun? I think we'll try that out, see how it goes. Hopefully there's a way to increase the uh, cost of cards that we put in there. So this has to be three, two, six, two. Hopefully a way to like build a bigger deck at some point. Well, I think we'll do a round of this is the get a feel for it again. Oh, hello, wait, oh, hold on. Da, do, 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 do. So, oh, so the rogue can equip things that the warrior cannot. Okay, wheat field can only be placed next to a village. Okay, I don't have that. A bigger deck is always good? Hey, it's not about how many how big your deck is, it's how but well you build it, right? Let's keep it cool. You can still do just fine with a little deck, okay? Let's not be hating on people's decks here, alright? Yeah, give me those cards. All right. So now I'm starting to learn like little bonuses and stuff. So we can start min maxing all this stuff. And that is just cool. The chrono crystal seems kind of, I don't know. Eh. Put that there, I think. And... Put that guy there. Let's go! Wait a minute, crystal and the battlefield overlap? Didn't even think about that. Oh wait, that's per day. Yeah, it's only day effects, so that doesn't work. Okay, you got me. All, you got me all flustered and excited. And it was all lies. Crystal plus meadows the combo heal faster. Uh, does is the Metal next to the crystal the same as the blooming metal next to the rocks? Whoa! What was that? Oh, what in the... Okay, wow. Damn. Uh, do that one, and that one. 
186. Well, that so if you when you bring all the money back to the camp, you get a bunch of gear to equip. That is super cool. Boom, boom. Meadow next to any non-meadow. Oh, so like. Bum, 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 bum. Now, doubles the effect of a day's passing on adjacent tiles. Oh my god. So that works with med. Oh my. Okay. I get it now. I get it. I now know how they work. It just clicked in my head. All. I want some more bacon? Yes. That controls enemy spawns too, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it speeds up monster spawns, which is double-edged sword. It means more loot, but also higher chance to get wrecked royally. Okay, I'll put that there, and then... I'll put that guy there. And we want to spawn more... Your chess. All right, let's go. Uh -oh. Wow, this class seems very, very, very strong. Very strong. I need a village. There's another patch. Nice. Well, it doesn't matter when you close off a treasure, just that you close it off at some point. So I'm not gonna worry too much about like spamming it right away. It'll, be, it'll get closed off quickly. Vampire Mansion. Mm. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we get a massive boost to stuff. Uh, chests only give wood shards for rogue, by the way, don't give trophies for items. Really? Well, okay then. So I don't want chests on a rogue. Well, thank you for the tip. I'll remember that for next time. Let's see, Dirk. That is evasion bonus. I'll swap that out. 10 to 14. I'll swap that out. Yeah, so I don't want that on a rogue. Okay, so now we know. Mountain. Mountain. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, so I kind of want to um, get rid of the battlefields on rogue. But we're learning, but now we know. Okay, another rock there. And we leveled up! Yay! Is another vampire mansion? Ooh, a village.
bum, bum, bum. Okay, uh, you'll just Scarecrow every four days. Oh, God. Place next to a village, plus between the healing and adjacent villages. Oh, no. Oh, it's getting scary. Yeah. Oh, big mountain. Oh, wait, so that works with rock. I thought it had to be mountains. Whoops. So I can combine them. Nice. Nah, I kind of messed it up, though. That's all right. I'm going to get rid of that bandit camp because I don't like bandits. They're thieves. Bandits are the people that use cheat codes in, like, online shooters. I would place all... I'm telling you, all of the villages next to the vampire places, if I got the tall vampire lady. Because nice. Nice. Very, very nice. Oh, I forgot the level. Let's see. After losing 20% of his max HP in a battle, the hero evade all attacks for two seconds. Max HP is increased by one for every received trophy. Hero leaves 10% of his findings in a camp when passing through a campfire tile. Ooh. Constantly increasing max HP seems cool. Two seconds of guaranteed Evading is nice, but mm. I'm gonna try old scraps. See how that goes. Let's see here. No, that'll get a buff. Um, let's see. I'm gonna put it. Get that bonus health. Want the bonus health on me? Need more village tiles, please. All right, six. Bunch of HP and counter, yes. Evasion and magic damage, that's not great. Evasion and evasion bonus. Like a lot of evasion. 10, 90% chance for 140% damage. Oh, it's crit chance. Bum, bum. I wonder if there's a class that uses all of the armor slots. Bum. Doing very good damage. I'm getting so many wheat fields and no villages for them. That's that's sad. A scarecrow? <laughs> Can a scarecrow attack you? I don't. Oh my god, finally a village. Now we can raise a child. Uh-oh. Oh, God. That's fine. Oh, no. It's fine. It's okay. That's okay. It's fine. Okay. Bandit camp, and then... We're leveling good here, though. I like this. Mm. Put that there for now. Good trophy. Good trophy. Uh, rock.
Why not break a treasury? Can you do that? How do you break the treasury? Oh, I can oblivion them. I just have I don't have an oblivion card. I didn't realize it spawned a gargoyle. Ooh. Ooh, that's scary. Yeah, it's a spawner. I need an oblivion card to remove it though. Battlefield kinda sucks without what's his face. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Evasion and evasion bonus encounter, nice. Max HP. No, that one's too low level. Uh, okay, that's very, very good. That's very, very good. I'll take that too. Okay, big damages. Battlefield is not good on the rogue because he doesn't get gear from it, just switch shards. Which is like, eh. It's good if you're looking for wood, but for everything else, it's eh. Come on, give me a village. That is not a village. I will take it, but it's not a village. Oh god. Oh god, here we go. This is gonna hurt. Uh oh. Okay, that could have gone way worse. I'll take it. Give me some healing. Loot! Vampire Mansion. I don't want it. Oh, the crystal's right there, though. I'll put that over there. Scarecrow? Yep, it does make ghosts, that's true. Ghosts, I don't know how tough ghosts are though. It could be a little rough. I'm getting close to leveling up again. Hopefully I get a good perk. Do something to help me heal. I really need something to help me heal badly. Okay. Oh wait, let me see what these weapons are. Evasion and critical. Evasion damage bonus. Pretty good damage though. I'll use both of them. Damage bonus, evasion, nope. Uh oh. Our life's getting very low. Gark, Harpy. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. Um, lowers the quantity of items received from the camp tile by three, but increases the quality for of exchange for trophies. Plus three HP after a kill. Fighting against three more enemies will grant you an additional trophy. Ooh. That's not a lot of healing. Rare loot is nice. I'm about to die. That's so little HP, it's only three. That's, I, I, to, okay, let's do some math, hold on. To give myself a heal to full, I would need 960 divided by three. Just had to kill 320 HP, 320 enemies, fine. Easy.
I'm alive, but how? Thanks to us, a small group of us dragged you here. It wasn't easy. How could you fight all those monsters? They nearly killed me. That's also interesting. Many of them vanished right before our eyes. Some we managed to avoid, but I think most of the beasts were gone even before we left the camp. I think your trips are deeply connected to your memories, my friend. Everything falls apart as soon as you're unconscious. Oh no. I died. Orb of Immortality. Usually death is unstable. This orb makes it stable, stably non-existent for a few seconds. Usually enough to avoid this gruesome fate. Didn't take the loot? What loot? Boom, 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 boom. Ah. Oh, the loot is, um, you spend a token to take it all even when you're dead. I don't think, I don't think I had one. I didn't really have a bunch to waste it anyways. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break, guys. I'll be right back.